welcome back to the final part of the show. Uh, Derry Clark is in the kitchen. And remind us, sir, what you're making tonight, because it sounds amazing. I'm doing lovely uh, little lamb cutlets, nice and lean. Nice eye on them, which I want, you know. I don't want all fat. OK. You want some meat as well, don't you? Yeah. OK. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, it is summer, let's be honest. It well, is officially. According to the calendar, yes. Yeah. But so, according to the elements, no. No. <laughs> so baby gem lettuce. Actually, it's a great little lettuce to use in even for salad. It's lovely and crispy, I think, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And small. It's quite, it, sometimes you buy too much salad. What happens? Next day, it's gone. Yep. Yeah. So I think that's a really good buy, that is, anyway, even for summertime. And it grills really well, too. You can cook it on a pan or on a barbecue. Oh, really? OK. Cut it in half and straight on. Oh, lovely. Yeah, really nice. Nice okay. to fire it nicely. Because you're so right. I'm going to get the lamb on, the guys. Um, the bottom of the fridge. Yeah, so I've got a bit of oil in there, not that much, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. And some pepper and salt. And you see I have a little uh, kitchen paper under the lamb there. I had some on top as well. It's a great idea to get the moisture out of the lamb. OK. All right. OK. You'll find it much nicer. It'll just cook better. I think it does. It yeah. does really, yeah. yeah. There's less moisture in it. We're definitely going to trust you on that one. Also, I want to hear sizzle, sizzle. And then it goes. I must say, I love lamb. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's lovely and lovely and neat, isn't it? It's a portion and a half there. I only had five. I should be six. <laughs> six or four, yeah? <laughs> Derry got a bit hungry before the show went to air and decided to treat himself to a little snack. Or it's all for me. Yeah? <laughs> all right, so they're sizzling away. They are. I know something, that really works well. Lamb like that works well in the barbecue. Because if it's a prime cut, yes. it's quick. Yeah. You know, as long two as you've got a good brolly to ready. keep the rain off the barbecue yeah. at the moment, you're fine. Yeah, but yeah. we're actually <laughs> using the barbecue a good bit at the moment because it's just the Even season. in the rain? Yeah. <laughs> Even in the rain. The brolly. Uh, so would you, if you have it on the barbecue, you just don't put it directly over the flame, would you put it to the side? Or do you care? Um, you know something, barbecues, there is a bit of a, an axe of barbecues, you know. You're using direct and indirect heat. Yeah. Okay, so direct heat is something fast. Mm -hmm. What I always do is kind of seal it on the direct heat, stand okay. over it turn it over and then move it then to move indirect it. heat where there's a cooler part of the barbecue okay. and let it rest there. Yeah. You know? Okay. All right. Okay, so what have you done now? So have a little streaky smoked bacon. It's actually just rashers okay. I bought today and just dice them up, yeah? Yeah. I put no oil in that pan because there's enough fat in the bacon. And when I'm doing this, I'm not going to put any um, salt in here because the bacon is quite salty. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit higher here. That lamb is about three minutes each side, max. Yeah. All right. And let it rest for about two or three minutes before you eat it. Smells good, doesn't it? Smells amazing. I can see why with the bacon and the lamb, you're like, go on, lads, we won't do the potatoes. We'll do a salad. There's no need for that. No, add a pot of spuds with loads of butter, <laughs> yeah? Loads oh, of butter. Cara. And then... Yeah. Then we get the Irish dancers in just to finish off the whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, I'm not hit too much into, into the bagara now, I've got to say to you. Yeah. Anyway, so... So some diced onion, okay. A piece of garlic. I have a garlic clove here. I'm just going to squash it in the back of a knife. And Chop it up. Too. Mind your fingers. And you see the lamb. I've just put it on the pan and I haven't even turned it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't even shake the pan. You do see some chefs doing this, you know. Yeah. No, you don't want to do that. It doesn't work. That's what you've always said about steak as well and lamb, just leave it alone. Yeah. Let, let your pan and the heat do the work. It's a little bit high, so I'm going to bring it down to about medium, okay? Okay. okay. Now. So the onion, the garlic, the bacon, that's not going to take very long. It's a fast dish. It's really fast. I mean, all the work is in this. I have some vegetable stock here. It's not coffee or tea, okay? <laughs> 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 a little bit more. Chicken stock, vegetable stock is good there. It's a I'm very wimpy looking mug you used as well, Derry. It's a big mug. No, it's a very, it's a very, yeah, very nice one, actually. Kind of matches, matches the weather we've had over the last exactly. week or so. Now, that's what I want for the lamb. You see that? <coughs> I want a nice, crispy. Do I want oh, the fat to be crispy? Bad. Yeah. OK. Look at that. It's perfect. OK, I can bring this down a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Now, I bought some peas, a little petit pois. Right. Baby peas. Oh, very nice. Frozen. And something about uh, vegetables is most, I think it's the best vegetable that's frozen, that you can okay. freeze. Peas are great. Very nice and sweet. Yeah. In they go. No, have you pre-cooked them or are they just going in as they are? As they are. They're thawed out. 
Okay, all right. And they'll cook, Martin. I'll give it about a minute or two, yeah? Okay. And they'll cook. And that's all reducing down. And I'm making sure I use everything here. I have some um, yogurt or creme fraiche. Just to finish the dish off, I'll put a couple of spoonfuls in the bowl here. Chopped um, mint. Yeah. Or parsley or coriander. Ah, it would have up. to be mint if you're having lamb. Yeah, everyone loves it. Everyone loves um, mint. Okay. Instead of putting cream in here, I want to thicken it a bit. So I'm going to um, do a bit of butter. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> in there. And the very last thing is I'm going to put in the baby gem lettuce. So straight down like that. See that lovely lettuce? Got a bit of minus. Take that root off. Down we go. Cut. And in we go. All right. That smell, dairy. It's really hitting now. Now we plate up. Doesn't need much cooking, okay? No. And the smells oh. are good in this studio. They really are, yeah? That smells amazing. So the, so the, the baby gem literally goes in for a second? Literally a second. Okay. Just, just to wilt it, you know? Now this is your tea, Martin, your tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> yes? Look at that. I think it's really nice. It simple gorgeous. and easy enough to do. Now, here we have it. So seared lamb cutlets with a nice lettuce, bacon and pea. Delicious. With some yogurt and mint. And if you want to cook along with the dairy, you can check all this on YouTube. Just look for um, VMTV up there with the six eats and you can cook along with dairy as you do when you have all the ingredients. Dairy Thank Clark, dairy. everybody. Yes. Not delicious. Um, some messages now. We were talking to PJ Gallagher a little bit earlier on about the big you know, picking, up, picking up the scoop. I honestly didn't know until a few weeks ago that people hang their dog poo on trees in the little bags. But lately, right. it's all I'm seeing. What's wrong with everyone, asked Phil? You're I, I don't know, you're Phil. absolutely uh, right, I don't know. Phil. Uh, Fiona texted in, oh, oh my God, perfect dinner time conversation. Fair play <laughs> to PJ, or should I say Poo J. I'll be keeping an eye out for bags of poop hanging from trees. If, every, if you're listening to him on Nova tomorrow morning at breakfast, can you all just text in calling him Poo J? Poo J, he loves that. And Sean said, it's great to see PJ Gallagher in the show. What a man. I'd still pay to go to a gig in Cabin for a Carberry <laughs> to see him any day. Wouldn't we all? Wouldn't oh, we all? That's fun. All we've got time for tonight. A massive thank you to all of our guests. And thanks, of course, to Derry Clark, too, for the food yes. inspiration. Thank you. And as Mirren said, if you want to catch up on all of our recipes, not just Derry's, but all the others, too, uh, go searching VMTV Food on YouTube and you'll find it there. We'll be back tomorrow with some serious boss guests, including Black and Irish podcaster Amanda Ade, Georgie Shores, Vicky Patterson, and daytime TV icon Lorraine Kelly. We hope you have a lovely evening. We'll talk to you then. Bye. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.